So, everyone, how are we all doing? Yay, that's what we like to hear. Uh, so, before we start, we're going to, yeah, you can adjust your chairs if you can't see me. Uh, but before we start, I think what is well worth doing, have you all enjoyed your meal? Yeah! So, should we have a quick round of applause for all the staff at the back there? They've done an absolutely bang up job. Perfect. So, Alex and Brad have just asked me before I go, and I know I'm going to go soon, and I know you all look sad. But uh, before we go, but don't boo me, I'm not going yet. Um, so what we're going to do before we go, uh, we're going to do a few things. So one of the, when I first started in things, if anyone could hear me at the bar, could you turn the music down just a, a little bit? Maybe they're probably not even listening. If not, I could just sing a song. Uh, but what we're going to do, uh, when I first started doing magic, I started doing magic first, and then I got really embroiled in what's called... Um, basically human nature. And when we're going to do something, can you see those um, symbols to my right hand side? Yeah? So what we're going to do, uh, Alex first, um, could you uh, name me one of those symbols? So we've got a cross, a circle, a star, a wavy line, or bacon, and uh, a square. Which one do you want to start with? Star. You want to start with the star? Okay, we've got the star. So Alex, uh, Brad, what do you want? I want the bacon. You want the bacon? <laughs> of course you do. <coughs> so, the reason why I'm doing this particular thing first is on your wedding day, your intuitions, um, because you're so stimulated with everything that's going on today, your intuitions are like really spot on. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to mix these up. Okay, we're going to start with a star first. Let me mix them as behind my, by my back. Okay. In fact, what we'll do, we'll start with, with Brad first. Because this will be the last time it, you ever get to do anything first. <laughs> okay, so we've got two cards. Card number one and card number two. Where is the bacon? Two. Two, this one? Yeah. Perfect, brilliant. Ooh. Brad, give him a round of applause. <laughs> it was a 50-50. Um, so, uh, let's do it again, but Alex, this time, where's the star? Is it my left hand or my right hand? Right hand. My right hand, perfect. That's two out of two. See, as I said, yeah, it's, it's a real heightened senses that you both have. So what we'll do, let's up the ante a little bit. Um, Brad, which one do you want to go with next? The cross, circle or square? The circle. The circle. Let's take the circle, and let's mix them up. So this time, you've got a one in three chance of finding the circle, okay? Let's do it behind my back as well, so you don't know where it is. Okay, here we go. So there's three cards. Now, being as you chose it, Brad, Alex is gonna find it. So is it number one, number two, or number three, Alex? Number two. Number two, in the center here, yeah? Let me just readjust my grip. The circle, bang on the money, that's three out of three. Okay. Thanks very much. Let's up the ante, shall we? <laughs> Out of these two that are left, which one do you want to find, Alex? Star. Oh. No, you've got the star already. <laughs> you, you, you can have the square or the cross. The cross. The cross. So this is now one out of five. Okay. So you've got this. I like, I like the support over in the back there. So we've got five cards. This is where, look at this card handling skills by uh, a magician here. So, where is the cross? Is it one, two, three, four, or five? Alex. Oh, okay, four. Four, this one here? So the cross, you, this is a one in five chance, but you went with the cross. <laughs> As I said, you are you're doing this really well. Now let's up the ante even further. Let me just grab this. So this time, we're going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to call your name, and I'm going to show you the back of a card, and you just tell me which symbol it is. So let's start with this one. Brad, which one is this? Star. The star. So put that there under the star. Alex, which one's this? Square. Square. There we go. This is all fair, isn't it? So you think. <laughs> okay, Brad, you're up next. Let's see. I think you're going to go for this one. 
Brad, which one is this? Circle. The circle. Here we go. You're right over there. <laughs> Alex, which one? Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> it's traditionally wavy lines, but we're going to go with bacon. <laughs> uh, and that leaves us with this one. That's the cross. So we started off with two to one, uh, like 50%. Then one in three, and then one in five. That this is one in five, four, three, two, one. This is 120 to one. There's nothing weird going on on the other side. I don't know what you were thinking that. Which makes this really remarkable, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic. Now we're going to play a little game. We're going to play a game where we're going to come up with the world's worst wedding. Being as we are at one of the world's best weddings, let's come up with one of the world's worst, worst, best weddings, worst weddings. So, Brad, we're going to start with you first. I want you to think of the world's worst place to hold a wedding, OK? Don't say it out loud, because I'm going to give you a piece of card in a second. I'm going to ask you to write that down. For example, someone last week said it was a bowling alley was a bad place to have. OK, so if I give you that piece and a, and, a, and a pencil, what I want you to do is write that down. Once you've written it down, fold it along the fold, so it, because I'm going to give Alex a piece as well. So if I give you that, Alex, you're going to think not of the world's worst, I've got a pencil there, not of the world's worst place, but the world's worst person to be at a wedding. Now, do not pick Hitler, because everyone seems to go with Hitler. Although, I'm a big fan of moustaches. OK, and when you're both done, fold it along the quarters and so both look identical. You can hold them both up. Um, could you let me know when that's done? I've, uh, you'll let me know. Have, have they, are they both done? They seem to be writing a book. It's all right, I'm paid by the hour, we've got time. We all good? We all not good? OK. Well, I can start right. talking about the cake. It looks like a lovely, lovely cake. What flavor do you begin? If anyone sees any bite marks in the back of the cake, it was not me. <laughs> Just so you know. Are we good? Yeah? yeah? Good. Excellent. Could you do me a favor? Could you take those two slips off them both, please? And then mix them up. Just shuffle them in your hands. And then what we're going to do, I'm going I'm to ask you to pass me one of those. You don't know which is which. Whichever one you pass me, we're going to destroy. OK, you ready? Perfect. And the other one I want you to hold up in the air. So I'm going to go over here. I'm holding this above my head so you know I'm not doing anything weird or funky. Because uh, we're going to go over here. And, and uh, if you could hold that other piece of paper up nice and high. Perfect. So I'm going to come over here. Now, if you saw me do the rope trick earlier, I told you that uh, when I was six years old, I was thrown out of cubs after two weeks. And mostly that was because I'm a pyromaniac. Um, and so what we're going to do, because this one's now out of the game, I'm only just allowed to have these now, but I've got a lighter. <laughs> so we're going to, yeah, the, this is where the lights go off. I've cleared this with the, with the venue, and they've said absolutely not. So here we go. So we're burning away one of these. Now, we don't know which is which at this point, OK? Like this. All we know at this point is that I'm burning my fingers. <laughs> there we go. So that is destroyed. But this is the one we're interested in over here, OK? This is the target. So let me get a pencil. I don't know why that's funny, getting a pencil, but if you're enjoying it. Uh, let's get, get rid of these. Um, so, I um, want you to concentrate. For some reason, I'm getting straight away the idea of space, like a large piece of space, urban. OK, I, I think, let's go, let's try this. No, it's not a rodeo. Um, let's try this here. OK, this is going to be my guess for what is on that. So let me just fold this up. So I am now fixed with this idea. So I'm going to come over. And we're going to do a swap. Are we enjoying it so far? Good. <laughs> how, 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 was, how was the meal? Was it good? Yeah, it's really nice. 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 Oh. Here we go. I like that. 
It's very quiet, isn't it? It is very quiet. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a swap. Oh, cool. So if I give you this one, yeah. I give you that, and I'm going to come around the back. So we're going to need you for this. So this is the target. I don't know what this is. Did, did anyone else along here see what the other person wrote? So I've got written on this slip that you've been holding a bingo hall. <laughs> so that's what you wrote, bingo hall, isn't it? Could you do me a favor? Yeah. I'm going to hold the mic, open that up, and read out loud what it says on that piece of paper. Bingo hall. Perfect. Oh, wow. Perfect. You can applaud now if you wish. Now, the, the only problem with this routine is that we don't know what the other piece is because we've burnt it. So, Alex, don't tell anyone yet. You've written something down, that's been burnt. So at this point, if I reveal that piece of information, you could lie and say, no. So I'm really trusting you here, to be honest, because we're going to try and see if we can get that second piece of information. So you wrote down the world's worst person to be at a wedding, and it's not Hitler. So I'm going to write something down on this board. Send it to me. Send me the thought. Have you got it? OK, here we go. Okay, I've got I've got the first person's name. Send me the surname. <laughs> You're sending me a weird surname. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm gonna. I'm going to put this down. Oh, that's down now. So for the first time, could you shout really loud so everyone can hear you? The person who would be the world's worst wedding guest. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. That's what I wrote on here. Jack the Ripper, everyone. I even drew a knife. And with that, I'll leave you all alone. I hope you've enjoyed the afternoon, the magic that I've provided this afternoon. I would like personally to thank uh, Alex and Brad for putting on such a brilliant wedding. It's been fantastic for me. Uh, you're a lovely couple. I wish you all the happiness in the world. And enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your lives together. My name's been Neil. Thank you very much. And I'll catch you all later. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you.